Hi guys, Meg Twin here. Wanted to do a recording showing you some of the problems I'm having in my project now. Um, the whole time I was testing, I was testing with the animals in the scene. Let me show you here. Uh, open up the bowl. Put the bowl in. Let's see. I gotta move up. Here's the bowl pin right here. And let's get a cow. Whoops. I didn't want to open it. I guess maybe eventually I wanted it open, but not now. And I need to find... Uh... Cow mating point that right there. Before I had it set up so that uh, they went to a target point and you had to assign it uh, outside of, of the uh, character. I'm a little I'm a little ticked off today. I'm having a really hard time with Unreal. It's not sitting too well with me at the moment. And I'm sure it's me. Um, Let's hit play, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright. They go over here. And... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less. Uh, wait, do I have to set him to once to mate? That's another thing I need to... Yeah, that's another thing I need to not have to do. I want it a uh, random bull 50-50 chance whether or not they want to mate at a certain time of day. Let's see, let me put my player closer to the action over there. Okay. Now what the heck is her problem? <laughs> oh, okay. I did have it set random bull, so apparently she didn't want to mate. And I have her set to yes, wants to mate. Okay, now we should see them. Okay. I took the target point out and just had a meeting at the location of the mating point. I didn't need that target point that I was using. Okay, that worked out. I want to see if they have the same behavior if I spawn them in. Let's see if she goes ahead and has either a bull or a brown calf. At first I had it set up to where she could give birth to a white and black spotted calf, but it didn't quite make sense and it looked kind of weird. <laughs> so I changed it to uh, having a uh, brown calf or a bull, and she had a bull today. Okay, and the bull will follow her for a while. I think he follows her too long if I'm not mistaken, so I have to go into that time uh, timeline and change the uh, change the uh, number. I think it's set to two, but it should be set to one because uh, initially when I put these uh, animals, the babies, in there, they grew much bigger, <laughs> much bigger than the uh, actual adult. So I had to go into the timeline and make a change. I think the pigs are set to three point one. Uh, as far as size goes, but uh, the bull and the cows have to be set to uh, two. So you can see the bull growing. They should be walking around, but I think they're blocking each other. Now the bull should uh, go off on his own here shortly. There he goes. He said, see you later, guys. And then when he gets done growing, it will uh, spawn an actual bull. 
so when I walk up to it you'll see the bowl on the top there I should be able to walk up to that bowl and see the same thing I actually should be able to pick it up and put it in my inventory you don't have a milking bucket the cow is not showing the uh, widget running into all kinds of issues and I'm still worried that I'm not going to be able to get the vehicles set up the way that I need them set up and it's going to kind of make the project obsolete because I have to have vehicles working. Hey bull, you're getting bigger. You're not done growing yet. Whoa. Okay. I guess you are. Okay. He's the... and I should be able to pick him up. Yeah. Okay, I got him in my inventory. And I can't spawn him here because I have it set so he can only be spawned in the pen, so it shouldn't spawn. Yeah. Well, that works. That's a good sign. Okay, now let me try this. Um, with this part connected where it decides whether or not it wants to mate when it's spawned in. Uh, this one I didn't change at all, so he... I'm going to go ahead and set him... Who wants to mate? I'm going to set that to be true. And I was trying to set it up on the timer for the pigs, but that went haywire, so... I still have to put it at a time, like maybe... I don't know... Uh, 1700, 1600, something like that, 4 or 5 o'clock. Let me move this to the center here. And then, oh, let me move my player back over here by the market guy so I can buy the, buy the bull and the brown cow, put him in there and see what happens. Here's the bull, here's the brown cow. Let me spawn them in. It seems to have a different behavior after spawning than it does putting it in directly. Okay. Maybe she didn't want to mate. Let's do this. I'm going to spawn him in again. And then... I'm going to spawn... Oh, I guess he's over there, so I'll put her over here, hopefully. She's probably going to end up outside. No. Okay. Let me go buy another cow. Let me buy two of them and see what happens. <laughs> One of them ought to want to mate, I would think. There's a lot more to this than I thought there would be. Because when you do one thing, it affects three other things. Pretty frustrating. Okay, one of them wanted to mate. I saw a true show up there. But I don't know where they are, which one it was. I think it's the one behind the bowl. She's trying to get to the uh, mating point. Well, that one went there. I gotta find a much better way of doing this. It's just not working out. Let me let me go in. I don't think this was the one that wanted to mate. I think it was that one. Let me pick them all up. And I'll put them in one at a time until we get a true. There we go. Okay, so she walks in. 
Well, is he no longer interested? I guess the time has passed. So that's another issue I'm running into. Look at this. Access none trying to read property bull ref by the cow mating point. So <sighs> this is the kind of frustrating stuff I'm running into and it's really dampening my uh, enthusiasm for working on this thing. So what do I have to do? Because it doesn't activate until it overlaps with the sphere. This thing right here. So when it overlaps, it should set it. Now I don't know if it's because there's two or three in there and not just one. I really don't know. I'm frustrated big time. And I'll show you what's going on with the pigs. I can't, uh, I was trying, where's my animals? I was trying to make it so that uh, I didn't have to use that target point at all. I wanted to let me save everything. I wanted to uh, make it so they would find the nearest uh, mate. You know, find the nearest person that wanted to mate. The nearest pig <laughs> person. Nearest pig that wanted to mate. So what's your problem now? Where? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> in doing that, I ran into a problem. Here's my get closest mate function. Right? It gets the actor location, which is the pig, the male pig, and it's looking for pawns, and it's going to ignore the player. Then it goes through here and it sets the closest mate. But I didn't, uh, this ain't gonna work. I didn't know how to convey the location of this closest mate to the pig. Let's just run this. Oh, I can't. Where's it at? Oh. See, I have to have a, a location. So, I guess here, put this in here. Get closest mate, get actor location. Maybe. Let's just try it and see what happens. I'll hit play. I'll go up here and we'll buy a couple pigs. Three females and a male. And I'll go ahead and put them in here. And this thing doesn't have anything to do with it because they're not looking for that. So I'll put him in. Okay. And at 1600 in the upper right, it should show who the closest mate is. And then call uh, wants to mate function. See what happens at 1600. Upper right hand corner. I was having so much fun with this, and then I hit this frustration point, and it was like, ugh, rip my hair out. Okay, so he moved over to her, and I don't know if she's set to want a mate or not. So I have to have a way, yeah, he moved over to the closest one. So I have to have a way to find out if that closest, where's the uh, get closest mate, if that closest pig wants to mate or not. 
So how do I identify that? I mean, it's not going to be in here. Hit actor. So I can't just say once to mate. Yeah, because it's not going to come up. I need a, a reference to what this actor actually is and do they or do they not want to mate. Now I could set them all I could set them all to want to mate. <laughs> Let's see what happens with that mating. Let's just set them all to want to mate. Wants to mate. And then I'll run it and we'll see what happens. three and one. I'll go over here and put him in the pen. Okay. Now we have to wait for 1600 to come along. Oh, nobody's moving. So obviously he should move to the one that's off to the left there, off to its right. This is the male right here. And it should move to that one at 1600. So he does move to her. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Alright. So he moves to her. And let's see what uh, is supposed to happen after that. Find a mate. Okay. He moves to her and then do mate checking. Female present. It should be true. Oh, wait a minute. That's based on the uh, mating point, and we don't have a mating point. Um, so what do I do? Get the female pig reference and say once to mate. Instead of this, I'm not using a mating point reference anymore. Let's see what happens if we do that. Okay. Okay, we have two false and one true. Oh, I did set it to, uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I gotta get this out of the uh, begin play. Because we're just gonna. It's set to true by default. Now we'll try it. See what happens. I'm trying to find the simplest way to implement this, and it's just turning into a freaking disaster. Well, that one's outside the fence, so that's definitely not going to be the closest. Two of them are outside the fence. What are they doing outside the fence? <sighs> they're supposed to spawn within this square. I don't know why, how they're even spawning outside to begin with. I have a scaled box extent that they're supposed to spawn in. Now I have to wait for 1600 to see what's going to happen here. They're not walking around, I don't know why. Five 
five seconds. Of course, the one right up, right up by his nose is the one he's gonna go to. Oh no! Wait, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he can't decide. They all want to mate. <laughs> is he gonna pick one? Well, he's going to dance around for a while. He's not really doing anything. Mating widget's not coming up. I don't know. Let me put one in there. Well, yeah. Let me put one pig. One female and one male in there. See what happens. I think I'm just about over it, though. This is... it's been a pain. He has to go to her because she's the only one there, so she's obviously the closest one. take into account that it's different if you place them in already or you know if I spawn them in from the inventory the reaction is going to be different the engine is going to treat it differently okay we passed the 1600 mark and nothing's happening so screw it anyway that's what I've been dealing with for the last uh, two or three days. And, uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm a little ticked off at the moment, so I'll probably walk away from it for a while. Uh, but, I, you know, I did get a lot done. I was really happy with what I did get done. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for listening to me, bitch. And thanks a lot for being here. Bye-bye. <laughs>